Good morning, everybody. What's up? We are about to depart from our premiere in at Gatwick and get on our flight to Orlando. We're so excited, as you can tell. Uh, we've had such a good night's sleep here. It was so peacefully quiet. It's been really quiet, yeah. And yesterday we dropped our baggage off at the drop-off desk. So all we have today is our hand luggage. Although I have bigger bags under my eyes. But there we go. We're, we're going to go and get going. Get started. We've decided not to do a room tour today, but if that's something you want to see, we have done that in our previous vlogs, so go and check them out. This is about our, I don't know, maybe sixth or seventh trip, Scott? <sighs> Vlogged, anyway. We were also meeting up with some lovely people we've got to know over the years. My mum and Kev! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would get him. Alright, let's go. So we're away from the rooms now, but with your room key, you just drop it off in one of the light post boxes before you go. You don't actually have to check out. Lift number three. Thank you. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Doors closing. These are one of these letter boxes. You just pop your key in, just like that. There, done. Let's go. Is it ch chilly? Oh, I can see your breath. It's a bit chilly. It is. It's going to be a nice day. Yesterday it rained, but today it's sunshine. There are a couple of Premier Inns at Gatwick. This one is North Terminal. Literally, we've just come out of that front door up there. Come along here, across the road, that's North Terminal at Gatwick Airport. So you're literally on site. Now, the cool thing is that because we've <laughs> paid so much money over the years to British Airways, we've now become a silver member. So it's really good to sign up to their executive club. So yesterday when we came over, we also flew British Airways, we had access to the VIP lounge and we'll have access to the lounge in South Terminal. Um, we had our separate check-in desk as well, which was really cool. We went straight to the front, not quite the front because there was first in front of us, but it was pretty nifty Yeah. and we loved the benefits of it. So sign up to their executive club, Virgin do a similar sort of thing. Don't step into the light. We literally just tried to get a thumbnail behind us with this light shining in our eyes and we're like I don't even know if we're on camera right now because the sun's in my eye. I don't Th care. That was so bright. Oh. Get me to that lounge. <laughs> there it is. What is that big bright thing in the sky? As I said we're at North Terminal and what we have to do is get on the free shuttle over to South Terminal. It only takes about two minutes. I can and will beat you. Excited sound. Yeah, we're really excited to go on holiday. So now we're at South Tam Terminal. South Terminal. <laughs> Gatwick train station to the left. This way is where you do all your check ins and go up to security. We were just like, someone's left their B. And then I read the note, it says, Hi, I'm Belfran. Belfran. I'm a booby bear who is travelling the world for breast cancer awareness. My journey began in Winterton, Lincolnshire, UK. Please take me with you for more adventures. Then leave me for someone else to find. Please send a photo of where you found me by. Cool. I mean, we could do it. Take him to Orlando. <laughs> could do. Oh, oh dear. On this occasion, we're not going to do it because, like, you're not supposed to pick up other people's stuff, are you? I guess. I kind of want to take him to Orlando. I do too. <laughs> Okay, if we weren't travelling, if we weren't travelling on an aeroplane, I'd take him like to London or something. Like you said, I think I can fit him in my rucksack. Yeah. If we were going into London, we could take him, but I just don't, I don't feel comfortable taking him on a plane. You <laughs> Good luck. Just come through security and having a look at some glasses. Scott's all scratched up, but oh, there goes his eye. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind them. I like the colour. Yeah, I like the colour of them. On that side, it's... Oh, yeah. Only £45. Um, pounds. I do quite like them. It seems so weird, though, because I've seen you with, like, Oakleys when they go right round your face. Yeah, I'm used to that sort of shape. That's his usual style. I mean, I don't like those so much, but... He likes these ones he's got on. Right, this is... This is definitely Scotty right here. Well, well. Oh. I haven't even looked at the price. Yeah, you just have classy taste. 
guess. Yeah, 194. Was it 194 or 191? Yeah, 194. We've come to the Oakley part, as Scott was looking at expensive ones anyway. And these actually are a really good price. 9750. I like that they're different shades. I do too. Different colours. They're quite like quite dark. Are they comfortable? On your ears. Let me try those other ones. Oh gee. I hope you guys for the cheaper ones. <laughs> so I was told that our lounge was in front of Dixon's. Apparently Dixon's went bust years ago, but it's JD Sports I'm getting. And then you go through this corridor to the British Airways Lounge. Just coming through this way. It's very nice. How lucky are we? We haven't paid anything for this and because we're both silver we get to bring one guest in each. See if we can find a window, shall we? Window seat. So this is sort of the area where they do some food and bits and drinks. Got coffee up there, tea, coffee, hot drinks, alcoholic drinks, fresh fruits. Got cereals over this way, muesli, wheat bix cheese and ham. That's the same thing. Over here we've got pastries, jams, some uh, dried fruit, some hot food, muffins, bacon, sausages, eggs, beans, tater tots. So you can just come up and help yourself to whatever. I've just seen Tabasco, so I bet Scott will have a Bloody Mary. Except I don't know if he knows how to make them. See what comes back with in a minute. And over this way we've got tea and the coffee. I want some biscuits. Okay guys, so we're in the British Airway lounge. We've met Mum and Kerr. Wanna say hi? Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, we've had a few bits to eat and to drink. What do you think of the lounge so far? Considering right this is free because we're silver. This is the way to travel. Yeah. It's been really awesome. So good. And we've just sat down on these four chairs overlooking the runway. We were just laughing at this water fountain because there's like fizzy, fizzy, cold or wavy. <laughs> so you want wavy water. <laughs> uh, we've just been called to our gate so we've come through and we were at gate 15. Um, just waiting for us to be allowed on the plane now and then we're on our way. I actually forgot to tell you where we're going to be staying. So. <laughs> We're going to be staying for 10 nights at the end of the summer and then 4 nights at the end of the trip we're going to Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter um, Obviously you know we've been to both places before but this time end of summer we're going to Dockside so that's slightly different So we've been called through in our group Groups once, oh dear, easy uh, I'm going to board the plane Now if you've seen our previous vlogs you'll know that we like premium now we can't go back to economy <laughs> So we'll show you all the benefits that we get with that. Just touching the plane, good, for good luck. So this is the premium seating area. There's only about one, two, three, four, five, eight rows. And you get two seats on the left and right and then four seats in the middle section. They're wider than economy. I would say comfier. <laughs> um, get more space. Going through to steerage. Hello, I left my water in the bloody thing. Yeah, stupid water. I was just ringing you just to pick it up. Oh, is that the one on top of the thing? Yeah. I saw it there as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, enjoying <laughs> steerage. <laughs> I'll see you on the way through to the toilet. <laughs> well, I was just saying then, I bought a water like 10 minutes ago <laughs> to bring on the plane, and then as we were sat down filming the last bit, I'd lost it once and then I picked it up again. I was like, I won't forget this. I just forgot it. I come on the plane, sat down, and went, where is our water? And I've left it behind. Can't believe I've just done that. I'm not like that. We've just been given some orange juice and a water. And before we sat down, we had these amenity packs. They've got headphones in. Um, in he <laughs> excuse me. In here, we get a pen, lip balm, um, an eye, eye mask, maybe some socks. Headphones. Um, you also get a nice blanket, it's really soft, and it's a nice little pillow there. In our seats, our tray table will pull out like this and go over our laps so it doesn't actually fold down from the seat in front. Um, got all our all the electronics bit down here. This is it, I'm about to take off. So 
So quite understandably, you guys like to know what's, what food is gonna be served on the flights. So this is of April, 2023. So you've got a little starter there, which we never touch. <laughs> um, the main courses, you've got a chicken dinner there, um, a beef dinner or gnocchi, so that's the veg option. And then cheese and biscuits, a little dessert, and then a light snack later on. Um, these are the drinks, if you wanna have a little look there. So guys, this is our meals. Um, so we've gone for one beef and one chicken and we'll probably share. Um, do you wanna lift the lid on your chicken there? Yeah. Bit of stuff in there, broccoli, carrots. Yeah, and then give me a sec. Braised beef, some jasmine rice, and some stir-fried vegetables. Yeah, let's dig in and see what see what we think. We are one hour and twenty-seven minutes away from Orlando, and they've just come round with our little snack. The options were a mozzarella with slow roasted tomato wrap, and they're hot, by the way. And the other option was a barbecue chicken wrap, although it just says BQ, but there is a B there. We're about 12 minutes away from landing, which is awesome. It's such a smooth flight as well. It's been, it's been absolutely brilliant. There we go. Touchdown. Yay, people are clapping. And it wasn't me first. <laughs> now we just have to taxi for about an hour and then we can get off the plane. I hate that, don't you? The worst part. Yeah, like why didn't they fly a bit further? <laughs> Terminal C carpet, the new Florida carpet. So that was our plane. Got us here all safe and sound, and that's all we can ask for. It's really cool how we're coming out of the plane and we can see over the terminal um, for departures down here. We used this in September and was really impressed. Maybe lots of them. The pilot said it's just a short walk. It's not a short walk. Wow, look at the size of this place. New Florida carpet. <laughs> oh, I love the American music. <laughs> They're just playing some like country music and me and Scott have gone totally the I don't even know what song it is. No. Just, I just well, feel I, like I get we're it. here. <laughs> this is the name. Sounds like Zach Brown. Yeah, actually on the plane I watched uh, The Fisherman's Friends. Those of you who know me know I'm from Cornwall and um, they started singing a song called Cape Cornwall and I just, I bawled my eyes out and they said, Scott, listen to this. So I woke him up, I was like, you got to listen to this. And then he <laughs> took them out of his ears and he went, why did you do that to yeah, me? Why? And then he started crying. We were both there crying. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. This is my Cornwall. <sighs> this is my Orlando. <laughs> When we arrived here last in September, some of these um, weren't even open, these shops. So Shake Shack is new to us. Um, SeaWorld store was there. There's a really cool universal shop um, we've seen in other vlogs. We didn't actually venture upstairs, but it's really cool. Oh, <laughs> so cool. That Florida air. Sniff it. It's warm. It is warm. It's not too warm. I'm obviously still in my big jumper and that, so we've ordered a taxi just for ease. Um, and then after that it'll be Ubers and Lyfts from then on. We'll let you know how much a taxi cost to Dockside. Hey guys, we're here. We've just checked in. We've got a ground floor, which I'm not that pleased about, if I'm honest. And we did ask if we could get us together, but we're not together at all. And she was like, I've tried to put you guys together. We're like, well, we're miles apart. <laughs> not even in the same block. Ah! Oh. Our suitcases were the last to come out. It's been long. It's been long, but we're here now. We're here at Dockside. Angry Orchard is calling me. I'm so hungry, I need to eat. I need. To, I'm, I feel like a sim and all my levels are down. Like I need to eat, I need to sleep, I need to drink, I need to have fun. It's raining, windy. I need an umbrella. <laughs> okay, we're meeting them in half an hour. Um, I need to eat. Oh. This guy has regret that he didn't buy the sunglasses earlier. Look at these. Yeah, they're quite nice actually. 
apart from that. No, do you get to keep that? Like, is that just an accessory? It's quite comfortable. <laughs> what price are they? Pink. Pink. 24. Doll hairs. That's really good. They're pretty solid, dude. First angry orchard. I really like the middle bit. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, that sells it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they're, they're not bad, are they? I mean, 24 quid. They're comfortable. Without that. <laughs> So at the moment it's absolutely throwing it down. Uh, I think I'm going to get an Uber, go up to iDrive, get some food. It's only about quarter to six really. We're at a loss at what to do but I think we're just going to get some food and just chill from now. It's been a long day but let's try and do it dry. Hey gang, so we bought our iRide trolley ticket so we're $20 for two weeks. Um, we did go to our first stop and we thought we'll walk on to the next one. We're lit, we've done that every stop. So we're now at BJ's, so 20 minutes later, and we still haven't seen one iRide trolley come this way. So they are not reliable. If you can catch one, they're brilliant, but they're just not reliable. Anyhow, we're all starving. So we're gonna get some food somewhere. We're thinking Twin Peaks. We'll keep you updated. I can't really believe it. There's an iRide trolley over there, and I've just updated you guys. There's two. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? Alright, so the I ride trolley is that green bus there. I'm literally at a stop, 11. Stop 12 is where we want to go. I can't believe this. You can't write this type, this, you can't write this type of stuff. I'm going to put my middle finger up at it. I won't. Thanks for nothing. Scott's dragged me to this fine establishment once again. Fine establishment? That's underestimating it. <laughs> I thought this day would never come. The service is always terrible here. Unless, unless you're a single man. The food is quality. It's alright to be fair. Thank God the food has come, we're all starving. So mum's got the pulled pork loaded fries, which was on the bites list. This thing is huge. Kev's got a burger. I've been dreaming about these fries. I just went for a cheeseburger. They are good in here. And Scott's got an avocado burger. So we finished up into MP and we've come for a little wander around the Icon Park. We actually went into Old Red's for a drink. There was music on and then as soon as we sat down, the music stopped and we didn't get served. So it was like, let's go somewhere cheaper. <laughs> Where there's entertainment or something else on. Oh, I've got a bloody stone in my shoe again. So we just had a little wander around Icon Park. from us we are gonna vlog off here we're super tired ready for bed i think we've done pretty well since it's travel day it must be about i don't know 10 half 10 no no oh, no i've got hiccups yeah